everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I am bringing you this pink inspired makeup look. Um, it is inspired by, of course, Valentine's Day. Love it. But most importantly, it is inspired by the Fit Glow Lumi Firm in Buff because we are running an amazing gift of purchase while supplies last. If you purchase any full size Fit Glow item, the Lumi Firm in Buff is yours free. Just use code Lumi Buff. Now there are so many good options from Fit Glow. I'm going to be using a ton of them on my face here today, peppered in with a couple other things as well, but the look is mainly just about the eyes, very fresh, a little bit more full coverage skin, and then a very pinky, kind of matchy, matchy situation on the lips. So I use the buff on my eyes, on my cheeks, and my lips. I love a product that can do it all. It looks beautiful in all of those places and performs very nicely as well. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the formula of these, they also have skincare properties that helps anti-aging, which I adore. But even if you've already owned this and you have no interest in getting another one, I'm just going to be sharing with you a really fun pink tone makeup look inspired by the season of love. But I would wear a makeup look like this all the time. It's very signature Ashley. We got a lot going on in the eyes, a nice neutral cheek, and then a nice neutral lip as well. But it's just about pulling out the eyes. We got lots of pink layers to just add a lot of dimension. It's just a lot of fun to do using a lot of great products. And if you would like to know how to achieve this look using the Fit Glow Lumi Firm and Buff, then please keep watching. All right, so I actually started off with the lip scrub. I'm just holding it because I already used it. You put it on for like two minutes, wipe it off. Lips are ready to go. Thought it was a good little Valentine's Day edition. For foundation, I'm going with the Cure Weiss Cream Foundation. I use the shade Paper Thin. Really, really great match for me. A very easy one to sort of warm up if it needs a bit of warming up. And also one that I could sort of lighten up um, with concealer in the areas that I need it to as well. So I'm using this flat brush from Delium Tools. I like to lay the product on first and then go in with my Hint Beauty Flawless Complexion Sponge. And then I'll just sort of bounce this around the skin. Just because I really like to get this to melt into the skin. That's when it looks the best. For underneath my eyes, they've been quite discolored these days. Especially in the corner of my eye, as you can see. So I am using the Fit Glow Corrector. This is the Correct Plus. I'm using the shade Peach. And I just dot a little bit of this product on to where I am the darkest. It's both on the inner corner and outer corner of my eye. And then I just gently tap it in with my finger. Right on top of that, we are, of course, using my favorite concealer ever. A great one for the gift of purchase. This is the Fit Glow Beauty Conceal Plus Concealer. I do use the shade C3. Great match for me. I could use 3.5. I could use 2.5, but this one is the best. It most closely matches my skin. And so that's why I use it not only underneath my eyes, but also between the brows to brighten up the area, as well as on my chin, because that is an area where I get red and around my nose. So I'm just going to use that same sponge, bounce it in. It really is a perfect combination with that Correct Plus. Once you go ahead and set it, you really don't have to worry about it moving around at all, which I love. So I take my time doing that, and then I'm using the 100% Pure Bamboo Blur Powder, and this is the Delium Tool 787 brush, and I am just going ahead and uh, applying that to all the places that I applied concealer. Quick, easy, you know the drill. For bronzer, I'm going in with the um, Dual Ended Teddy Brush, also from Fit Glow. I love this brush if you have any of their Lumi firms or if you receive the free one with this gift of purchase. And I am using the fluffier end in the shade Sculpt. So I'm just going ahead and applying it underneath my cheekbones, on the temple. This is a really great color that has enough warmth to give me some color, but also I can use um, to define my cheekbones as well, and that's exactly what I did. So I do always like to go back in with my sponge. This sponge is a little bit of foundation on it from me applying the Cure Weiss uh, foundation earlier, and I will just bounce this across the skin. It allows it to get really seamless, blended, and just look like my skin, which I love. Then I'm going in with the more dense uh, side of the brush, and this is the Fit Glow Lumi Firm and Buff. This is the gift that you will receive free with any full-size Fit Glow purchase. And I really like to apply quite a bit, and it's because this blends out really nicely, and I do like quite a heavy blush look. So I just go ahead, apply this. This is a lot of back and forth steps. I do end up putting a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well, but I'll blend it with my fingers, blend in a little bit the sponge, apply a little bit more product until I'm happy with the finished result. Result. 
For the eyes, I'm actually using the 100% Pure Pretty Naked palette, and this is the Pretty Naked Blush. It's a really nice pink tone that's going to complement what I have going on, but give my crease a little bit of definition. So I am just running that through my crease with the Delium Tools 785 brush. Quick, easy, don't got to overthink it. And then I am taking the Delium Tools 777 brush. It's really just a flat packer brush, any one you have. Antonym has some great ones as well. And I am taking the Lumi Firm in Buff, and I am just applying this across my eyelid and again I do like to take my time doing this as well I want to make sure the product is rich even and I do like to apply quite a thin layer to get as minimal creasing as possible then I'm going in with the Fit Glow Night Palette, which still is an available palette, and I'm going with this mid-tone brown shade in the palette, and I am just ever so slightly accentuating the crease. This brown does happen to have a little bit of a lavender tone to it that I think pairs really nicely with the pink look as well. Then using the 100% Pure Pretty Naked Palette, this is the Rose Quartz Highlight, I believe it's called, and this is the Antonym Number no. 10 brush, and I'm just putting that in my inner corners and on my brow bone. It's a highlight that gives you a little something. It's not overly stark, but again, it's in that same pinky colorway that we're going with. So from my blending, I did lose a little bit of the color there on my lid, as you can see, so I'm just going ahead and applying that once more. I do want to make sure that it's nice and rich because I will be applying a product on top of it here shortly. But before I do, I'm just going back in with my Fit Glow Concealer. I do this often. I really just like this shape on my eyes, and I do get really discolored there. As you saw earlier, I'm just taking the concealer and cleaning up that edge to give myself a very feline, elongated eye. Then I'm going to go ahead and set that Lumi buff with the Antonym Baked Blush in Lily. It's a very similar tone to that buff shade. It just has a lot of luminosity to it. So I am going to go in with another one. Lots of texture here to add some dimension. But this will help set that cream into place as well as just emphasize that color. Then I'm going to go in with the deepest brown in the Fit Glow Night Palette, um, the deepest matte brown because I think there's a deeper shimmery shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a little faux liner. This is quite an ashy brown, so it looks really, really natural. And the great thing about cleaning up the eyeshadow the way I did before is that it sort of lays out a roadmap for how I'm going to go ahead and apply this product. So this is a great thing to do on a daily basis if you like accentuating your eyes in that way, but you want it to be soft. Um, also, that concealer there allows me to manipulate the product like I did just there and make it sharp and very, very cat-like, which is sort of what we're going for, but very subtle. To open up the eyes a bit, I am going in with the Kira Weiss uh, Eyeliner in Bright. This is a great nude shade. It's not too yellow. It's not too pink. It's not too pale. It really just looks like my sort of skin tone, but a touch lighter to brighten and open up the eyes. Finishing off the look, I ran out of my Fit Glow mascara, but if I had it, I would use it. It is probably my favorite Fit Glow item next to the Conceal Plus, and it is on its way to me. So in the meantime, I'm using the Vapor Mascara, but seriously, if you have not tried the Fit Glow, use that one. I like that one even more, though this one is very beautiful as well and obviously a staple in the collection. I've used it a lot here on the channel. Then, final step on the eyes, I am taking the Gressa Eye Tint in Cellophane, and I am taking this big 778 brush from Delium Tools, and I am just kissing it right on top of what I've already done. No real method to the madness, nice big motions just to get some shine on there. For the lips, I'm going in with the new Fit Glow Vegan Lip Liner. This is in the shade Buff, and I'm just going ahead and filling in my lips with this. Not completely, just, you know, for the most part. I'm leaving everything but the center sort of filled in. I'm going to do this both top and bottom. It'll help make the lip last a little bit longer, help anything from bleeding, and of course, give me a little bit more definition as well. Love these pencils. Just reviewed them, and I will link that video for you down below. Then, as I mentioned, I'm going to go in with the Buff uh, Lumi Firm also on my lips. This brush is perfect for applying it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's a really great pink-toned nude that doesn't wash me out, so I love that. Then I'm also going to finish this off with a little lip color serum, another one of like top three favorite Fit Glow item. It is amazing. This is in the shade Buff as well, and it is the perfect neutral pinky pairing just to give us a little bit of shine, which I love. All right, everyone, that is it. This is my completed pinky soft 
look for Valentine's Day. Of course, the star of the show was the Fit Glow Lumi Firm in Buff. Do not forget about that gift with purchase. It is such a good one. I have talked about that blush so much on the tail half of last year um, that I thought this came at such an amazing time. So again, the code is LUMIBUFF. It is yours full-sized with any full-sized Fit Glow purchase. So I think everything they make is in full size besides the little lip glow kit. So I've used a lot of products here today. The concealer, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend. The lip color serums are incredible, but I've done my best of Fit Glow and I will link that video down below so you all can check it out. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup look. If you recreate it, please do not forget to tag us. Um, do it for you. Do it on a date. Do it anytime at all. It is just fun and I think pink looks good on everyone and it's uh, one of those colors that's also a little less intimidating than like blue, green, something like that and then why not use the holiday as an excuse, right? Um, but that is it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of the love and support. If you'd like to shop any of these products, they will be listed in the description box down below. And wait, before you go, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I upload new videos here every single week. I do not want you guys to miss them, as well as bonus videos over on IGTV as well. So thank you so much again, and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.